I'm here to give you guys a message. This message could save this nation. It's the answer. It's the truth. Unadulterated and untarnished by the years and by the school system. Stuff you're not taught in school. That in 1868, 11 states delegates were forced out of the ratification process of the 14th Amendment. That 14th Amendment changed the jurisdiction of the Constitution forever. It changed it in a way that has been hidden from the American public and created in very much a secret Constitution. When those delegates were forced out at gunpoint by the Union Army, they forced in a ratification of an amendment that was supposedly about slavery and freeing the slaves. It's not true. Just like legislation today, like the Patriot Act, is most certainly not about being a patriot. I can tell you right now that what it did was it created an unlawful government. President Johnson said at the time that it would make the law itself unlawful and create a de facto government. And that's exactly what it did. He was impeached and, by the way, acquitted. And you know what that means. Acquitted means he was right. So what is the 14th Amendment? Well, how is it done? What is it done? It took two words, person and citizen, redefined them as corporation, and also made us subject to the jurisdiction thereof. No involuntary servitude shall be made, but they didn't mention anything about voluntary servitude or what is known in England as serfdom, debt enslavement. You see, I came 2,500 miles to stand up for Clive and Bundy and the Bundy Ranch. It wasn't about cattle. It certainly was not about just the ranch. It was about a man who almost stepped out of time from the 1800s. Back from when the days of the Constitution was not tarnished or perverted by international bankers. And you wonder why these politicians get away with doing all the things they do and not going to jail. It's called 14th Amendment Jurisdiction, and it empowers the following jurisdictions. Obamacare, Roe v. Wade, the FBI, ATF, BLM, DEA, the IRS, the Federal Reserve. All of those jurisdictions, if you took the 14th Amendment and pulled it out, they'd all collapse. They'd have to be reorganized themselves and disarmed. We have a domestic standing army in this country now, and that's all 14th Amendment jurisdiction. There's only one way to stop it. Judge Lander H. Perez said so, and that is public awareness to be raised on a scale that enough people could stand up at the same time and do something, and that's why I came to Nevada. It's why I joined forces with uh, Blaine Cooper and Third Watch. My name's Tom Lacavara Stewart, and my relatives were there in Fall River, Massachusetts, in Boston, back in those days. And I can tell you right now, we gotta stand up for this. We have to stand up for liberty, and there's only one way we can do it, and that's with your help. You need to spread this message and spread this word. This is the truth. Resurrectorepublic.com. Click on articles, and you'll see it right at the top. All of our research in one master article. The 14th Amendment is unconstitutional. We don't give you the poison fruit. We give you the tree. All these Second Amendment groups, First Amendment, Fourth Amendment, we all need to get together and take out the one that usurped it all and gave us privileges in the, in the place of rights. These are inalienable rights given to us by God. And I'm going to take them back.